version, uh, the newest version. I've had the pleasure to uh, to read through it and uh, uh, and to, to to be with you when you presented it. Uh, and I think this is a perfect community, a perfect group of people that should know uh, much better what Technovision is about and how they can use it as a tool uh, in their exchanges with customers, because it gives a lot of direction uh, in, 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 in where and how we can support our customers in digital transformation. So with that, Ron, I'm extremely pleased to give you uh, the floor. I don't know what uh, Eric uh, arranged, uh, uh, or, or, or if it's your presentation first, or Eric has first some stories, but I, th I think that we are, or I am extremely uh, interested in what you have to share with us. So welcome. Yes. So the setup yeah. for today is, uh, first I have a presentation um, of Ron with an introduction of what Technovision is, and then afterwards some discussion, though, uh, we may may have just a few members online. We're recording this, so the recording is going to be uh, available to all members, so some of them may digest it at a later stage. Um, but the idea is to have your presentation and then some discussion about how we can use this uh, in Sujeti Labs. But uh, for starters, uh, I would say the, flo the floor is yours, uh, Ron. Okay. That's great. So, so that means that I can also uh, share a, uh, a presentation with you. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just—I uh, don't know this particular any meeting stuff, but I believe I need to click on the share button and then probably uh, just share my desktop with you. Exactly. Okay. Let's let's try to see what uh, what happens. Oh, share. Um, um, okay, Sh share things directly from your computer screen is probably the easiest way to do it, right? So uh, I'll do that, and, and please interrupt me if uh, if I'm doing something wrong. But I, I'll now uh, share. Um, oh, um, that's not really what I want to do. Uh, that's a screen sharing plugin that you need. So so I think I'll share the uh, the PowerPoint in that case. That's probably a, a better idea to uh, to do it. Um, let me see. Upload something. Yeah, here we are. I'm going to upload something uh, because it would be nice to have a few slides uh, to uh, to share with you all. Um, it's uploading and it's doing very quickly, so that's probably um, not too bad. I'm talking, by the way, to you from uh, Capgemini's offices in Utrecht, uh, the Netherlands. Um, it's a it's a nice place let me see yeah i've got it over here it's preparing the presentation i'm not sure what that means but it's probably a good sign that it's uh it's doing something at least and to, I, uh, I think in, a, in a previous life you must have been a sports announcer because you're perfect at keeping a running track of the things you're doing so it's a <laughs> a pretty pretty good skill to have here so uh, uh, uh well you know i i've, I've been um I, I once did a, a presentation at, at a conference room of 1,000 people, and then uh, the, the, the beamer went down, and for 20 minutes I had to do something without the beamer. And, and I still think it was one of the most enjoyable uh, presentations I've ever done, insulting all the uh, the, the people, uh, the technology people that, that were supplying the beamer and so on. So um, that was good fun. So the best presentations are the ones that are uh, completely unprepared. Um, so I, I think I, I, you can see my slides now, yes? Okay, so um, I'll, I'll take it from there. So, so to Michiel's point, um, thank you very, very much, by the way, giving me the opportunity to um, to, tell, uh, to talk to this illustrious uh, community. Uh, I, I do agree with Michiel. Um, what I understood from from you guys in terms of this team, it's a very interesting uh, uh, team to address. And uh, and uh, matter, by the way, Michiel announced me as the guy that that has created Technovision. That's not really true. Uh, first of all, uh, this all has been under the executive sponsorship and leadership of Pierre Hessler, the 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 one and, and only uh, Cap Times are off. The the, uh, the one and only Cap Gemini fellow that that has been uh, really uh, pushing forward Technovision already for quite a few years now within the Cap Gemini group, and and also uh, what is important to mention that there are several uh, uh, key contributors to Technovision 2014 within. Uh, um, um, within, within Societe as well, which includes, of course, notably Michiel uh, Boril himself, but also Andreas Schoestrom, 
uh, that that has been um, uh, quite instrumental in um, in contributing uh, to to Technovision 2014. So so having said that, um, it is interesting. Uh, some of you may be aware of earlier versions of Technovision. We uh, started creating uh, Technovisions within the Capgemini Group already during the course of the 90s. But it's fair to say that seven years ago, under the sponsorship of Thierry Hessler, uh, we created something entirely new, uh, a whole new setup. Uh, we thought it was important to have a, a structured framework uh, to, to bring to our clients that would last uh, throughout the years, but of course, on one hand, would be stable as a framework, but would be up to date in terms of its contents, because clearly, something that you created seven years ago, you would say that's not necessarily uh, useful anymore. But on the other hand, what we're finding is that there's a difference between a framework that provides you with structure and, and repeatability and, and, and a way to ca categorize technologies on one hand, and on the other hand, being able to, to very quickly uh, iterate on it and uh, populate it with new trends, uh, because we are obviously working in a very quickly evolving uh, situation. And I think we, we've covered both sides within Technovision. Technovision itself is, by the way, a, a natural uh, companion to another big piece of thought leadership within the group um, done by our friends at Capgemini Consulting, uh, which is called Digital Transformation. I hope many of you are aware of this uh, excellent piece of thought leadership. It's being done uh, together with MIT uh, already for two years now, and it's, it's, it's very evolving thought leadership around, let's say, how business change is achieved through through digital, through technology, and uh, which is, of course, a very interesting uh, piece. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, often when our clients are exposed to that and understand the power of transformation through digital, sooner or later, of course, they start to ask, and what type of technologies would be relevant to that? And then, of course, at the consulting side, it might be a bit more quiet. And this is where Technovision comes in. Because that the way we see it, it's, it's the group's perspective or one of the, the leading perspectives on, on what technology trends can mean uh, to business transformation. And, and again, as I said, it's not only a bucket full of nice and interesting technology trends, although it's certainly that as well. But besides that, it's also a framework that gives some uh, structure uh, to the discussion. After all, there's so many different uh, anecdotes and so many trends going on in so many different ways. Uh, it's, it's, one, it's one thing to master these trends, but it's another thing to, to be able to categorize them and put them nicely in, into a framework. So that's what I quickly want to, uh, to bring to you. Um, I think Michiel will like this uh, because, because he tends to be a little bit provocative. This will be probably a surprise to most of you, but uh, Michiel tends to be a little bit provocative. And actually, Technovision uh, 2014 was definitely designed as something uh, to provoke. So, so uh, as Lanny Cohen, our group CTO, would put it, uh, it's not only uh, to, to, to uh, quickly translate insight into action, but it's also uh, trans uh, designed to incite action, so to provoke, to stimulate a very specific action. Um, so, so we've designed Technovision, particularly the 2014 uh, edition, as something innovative, something different, something very up-to-date. Uh, but it's also particularly designed to get to get action over and over again. So, so we want to have topics, content that that is that is not only up to date but also will trigger people over and over again uh, to do something. Uh, as I said to you, as you can see on this slide as well, it's designed as a natural companion to uh, to uh, a digital transformation. And for this particular version, uh, more than 40 of of the group's thought leaders, so including some of them from from Society, have been contributing to this version of, uh, of Technovision. Uh, it's, it's not a secret to some of them that in the past uh, there was a relatively uh, small, of course elite, but small team of, uh, of people that worked on previous versions of Technovision. And uh, I think it's very fair to say that for this 2014 edition, we've really managed to capture the ideas of, of many of the groups, um, you know, foremost leaders in each of their own areas. So, so that, that makes uh, certainly a difference, I think, the way I see it, uh, as it captures a repository of, of 37 different perspectives on emerging technologies, I think it's fair to say that it's an almost infinite source of, uh, of ideas and topics. Um, one of our um, uh, business development people he said, I, I have for two years now uh, with me to, to come to the client and, and each and every time uh, present them with yet another topic 
yet another perspective on emerging technologies, yet another source of inspiration to bring uh, to to uh, to the clients. So, so there's clearly, hopefully, uh, an almost infinite repository there of uh, of ideas and uh, and um, and uh, insights and perspectives. So the, the way we see it. Um, it's, it's directly applicable. Technovision is not designed uh, as, as some sort of an academic piece of thought leadership that you could read uh, during the weekend and, and then you feel enlightened or not and, and, and then there's business again. But actually we've, we've designed this to, uh, first and foremost, I guess, to, to initiate over and over again customer dialogues. After all, we are in the business of, uh, you know, uh, reaching out to clients and, and discussing with them technology. Um, it's designed to engage a broad um, uh, level of uh, executives, so not only IT executives, but certainly also to inspire uh, the business side, although technovision, so we don't shy away, like Sorgetti don't shy away from engaging with technology people and be proud of that. Uh, it's, it's thought leadership. Um, from our perspective, uh, if, if we're doing business with our clients, it helps if we can infuse it with innovative ideas. The client will have a better perspective of the value of the deals that we're bringing to them. Um, and, and of course, we're using Technovision also to position ourselves to the outside world, accept clients, but also analysts, um, um, advisors to our clients, uh, the media, uh, journalists, all, all of these type of things uh, we're certainly using Technovision for as well. By the way, I, I do hope you like our, um, our um, uh, visual uh, style that we've chosen. Uh, we had the MCOS, the marketing and communication uh, team in, in India, that has been working on an entirely new style. It's, it's much like a kaleidoscope, if you like. So that there's all sorts of different colors and, and all sorts of different, you know, um, colored perspectives you, you could envision for, for looking at the technology landscape. And, and that's a little bit what you um, hopefully recognize a little bit in the style as well. Um, very important that I always tell to, to uh, my friends in account management and business development, no, this is not an offer. You don't sell necessarily technovision or something. It's also not a solution. Uh, it's not, um, you know, designed like that, but also very important, it's not, it's not a me-too type of thing. Uh, we're trying to make a, a, a message over here that is really recognized as a Capgemini, a true Capgemini message. So, so we, we try to stay in obvious things. So we're not talking necessarily smack over here, you know, social, mobile, analytics, and cloud. Um, we stay a, a, a bit away from, from all the obvious trends like 3D printing or augmented reality or the Internet of Things. Um, of course, these are all very relevant and they're all big trends, but what we have chosen to do is, cho is, is look for some different wording, things that others would, would not say, things that fit a little bit into the Capgemini style of putting things um, so, so if you look at the, the 37 trends that are in Technovision, you will find trends like string of silos, friend your vending machine, what would Amazon do, my business, my data is bigger than yours, uh, some French influences like business mon amour and bon risque appétit, and so, so we made it a little bit into a, uh, let's say, a style that people would expect a little bit from the Capgemini and, and societies of this world, a bit of a European influence if you like in it, a little bit different from the typical Anglo-Saxon style that, that the Accentures of this world might choose. Uh, by the way, uh, since two years, they also have what they call their tech technology vision. Uh, and, and we are pretty sure that they are much inspired by, by what we've been doing. And, and they've done a pretty good job also in their techno technology vision 2014. But if you look at it, you see that it's all carefully crafted, uh, but they've limited themselves uh, very much in terms of the topics they've chosen. So, so they only chose a few topics. We think we're more holistic with our uh, 37 uh, building blocks, uh, although you'll see there's a, a structure behind it. But, but most notably, I think that we've chosen a style that really resonates with our clients in terms of it creates a different feeling. It's, it's, it's differentiating. It has an edge. It, it has some of the Capgemini uh, feel, if you like, uh, to it. And, and even I would add uh, that, that it even resonates a little bit the Sorgetti style of really being a bit more provocative and a little bit less politically correct. And I'm very proud of that uh, because we want to, you know, ra radiate a message which is uh, truly different instead of a, a Me Too message. So, so that's important to realize that we're doing something different over there. Now today, our, because we have limited time and I'm only doing introduction here for you, 
I will not I will not dive deep into the very specifics of the, the uh, Technovision. What you need to know that first of all there's a framework and that's stable. So the framework says there are trends roughly in infrastructure, there are trends in core applications, there are trends in data and in process, and there are also trends in the user experience and in the in the social collaboration sphere. And these are six six big areas. And these six big areas, uh, they are relatively stable. And you see them over here on this picture from the world of systems and, 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 and things on the left. Uh, so infrastructure and, and applications, which is the blue zone, uh, all the way to the right where you see the world of the new user experience and the collaborative world, which we call new experience and we collaborate. And somewhere in the middle, there's two crucial areas that bind together these two worlds, and they are the world of big data, or as we call it already seven years thriving on data, but also the world of process management, which we call process on the fly. Now, these are six big containers for trends. These containers themselves are relatively stable, but around them, uh, within these containers, you find very specific trends that are updated every year. And we've done also this for, for 2014 quite extensively. And then there's a seventh area, which we call design for digital, and they are design principles. I'm sure some of you are architects by nature or, or have at least affinity uh, with the world of architecture. And the idea over there is uh, that we have a set of design principles that you apply to whatever solution you would find in the other six areas. Uh, you would apply them, and, and, and that would make the solution truly digital. Now, that's, that's a bit the, um, the, um, uh, the overall setup of, of Technovision. It's a stable framework. And by the way, some of you that, that know the, uh, the previous versions of Technovision will uh, see that it's uh, quite redesigned as well. So we've chosen a simpler, I think, more visual representation of the framework itself. Now, within the framework, in the 2014 edition, you find 37 different trends. And um, don't, don't see this particular picture. But you see there's a lot of them. Um, so, so each of the, the six building blocks, uh, each of the six uh, clusters has a set of five trends within, and also the seven design principles. So in total, you find 37 different perspectives. And have a look, a look at these names. As I said, uh, some of them are really designed to provoke or at least to puzzle, to, to, to create some buzz. So, 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 some, some little mild mystery, if you like, that would make clients think in terms of what do they mean with that? What would they mean with, what would Amazon do? Uh, what, what does it mean to have an object of desire? What, what, what is, what is bon risk appetit? So there's some references over there to pop culture, like let's get physical or smack it up. Um, depends on uh, how old you are, if you recognize uh, any of these, or my data is bigger than yours. You also see the French influences like Business Mon Amour and Bon Risque Appetit, and there's many more. Um, any, all of them we got through corporate PR, except our uh, original um, trends in process management, which was called 50 Shades of Process, and for some strange reason uh, this was not uh, um, accepted by our uh, corporate PR machine, so we had to rename um, it into shades of process. But, but you get the picture, right? That there's a set of uh, intriguing trends. Um, and, and the way it works is, uh, imagine uh, tomorrow somebody would ask you, come over and, and discuss with me five, to, discuss with me what's big in, in, in data. And then we would say, okay, in the thriving on data cluster, we have uh, five trends. One of them, my data is bigger than yours, which is some sort of an entry level introduction to what makes data big nowadays. Then there's a second one which says, nowadays big data is no more separate. It's embedded in everything that you're doing. We call this intelligence insight. Thirdly, uh, because of the hannas of this world, we are able nowadays to, to do analytics in real time on the actual operational data instead of uh, in a separate analytics data warehouse. So we call this real, real time. Uh, there's no longer the need to wait for something. There's no batch anymore. It's the end of batch. You could have called it the end of batch as well. Uh, the, the fourth big trend is what we call the art of data. It's nice that we have data scientists nowadays, but maybe visualizing data uh, in a compelling way that actually uh, brings people to action is maybe even more important, arguably. And fifth, there's the trend of uh, what we call data apart together, modeled after, after living apart together, uh, which really means uh, nowadays there's not one single ocean of data. There's a whole set of data lakes that are all separate but need to be connected. And, and why don't you create a data governance using the right tools and platforms to create a, a federative 
um, data management governance rather than something centralized and one single source of truth. So, so just an example, five perspectives in this case on data, uh, all of them described in more detail. And, and um, so, so, so you start to understand and appreciate that whatever topic you choose, whatever viewpoint you choose, there's all sorts of different perspectives that you could explore together with the client or with colleagues or with alliance partners and see what it leads to. Now, to, to further show you uh, how we've been fleshing this out and how we've been elaborating on this, on the uh, next page, you, uh, I hope we go to the next page. Um, um, Firefox is crashing now a little bit on me. I hope you still hear me. Um, because I've got the spinning wheel now, the famous Apple spinning wheel. Well, we, Let we me can see. Yeah, I've, I've got this, I've got the spinning wheel now on me. So I'll wait for um, a few seconds to see what's happening. Yeah, you know that's that's that's. And now we lost your sound as well. I may. More people got offline. Okay, let's wait a moment before uh, Ron uh, reconnects. Maybe we can do it in the next. Show. Hi, Ron, are you back? We see that you're connected again, but we cannot see you, and we don't hear you. Now we see you. Can you I hope you hear me. Again? Yes, we can you hear me? Okay. We see you. Okay, let's go on then. You're trying to do something with the uh, slide. I, I try. I try. I try to proceed to the next slide, uh, Michiel, and that that doesn't seem to work. Can you still hear me? Yes, I hear you. Uh, maybe you should share it again. No, but but if you want to share something, uh, well, no, I, I am in the uh, I'm in, I am in the deck again, but uh, it some, somehow seems to crash on me. I, I will try again, uh, Michiel. I'll, I'll be back in a second. That must have been a very interesting slide coming up. I'm, I'm, I can still hear you, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get out of Firefox now. It is an interesting slide, by the way. This is a good skill. Build, build some uh, tension for your next slide. Definitely. Right, just uh, all the audience left here. We'll, we'll give it a couple of minutes and see when everybody's dialing back in and then uh, hopefully we can resume. Meanwhile, if you have any questions or thoughts, you can type them up in the chat or uh, write them down in little notes so you can ask them later. Um, see where we go.
Sorry, we're back. Well, I am back, but but I almost don't dare to go to the next slide. Um, Just me. Uh, you you can you can hear me again? Yeah. Yeah, I can see you as well. Yeah. So uh, I've now gone back to the previous slide, as you can see. So now I proceed to the next one, and now I proceed to the the dangerous one. Maybe you should skip yeah, that slide. Yeah. Oh no. It's a very simple slide actually. There's no, there's nothing special about it. So why does New York <clears throat> So, God. What if you go to you can't even number? All right. Is uh, can we can we simply proceed without slides? Because we can do this same exercise uh, another time. But um, can we uh, perhaps go into Q and A, or is there a, a a, a final message in your the last few slides. Oh, he's already gone. Yeah. Give him a minute, and then I agree with your proposal, Eric, to uh, to try to continue it with uh, without the the the, the killing slide. So far, it was interesting, I think. Uh, what do you think, uh, Eric? The new, the new style. I love the design. structure, and I love how it. I love how it brings together all these trends. It's crazy to have 30 trends in one slide, but to put it like this, it makes perfect sense, and it's a good conversation piece. So, um, the question is, of course, can 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 you simply run with this, or do you need extensive training, or can our labs members simply read this and then be confident at a customer to talk about one or all of these blocks? I think in the meantime, Ron is back, so that is an interesting question for Ron to uh, immediately. So here I am again. Um, so I'm now going to try with Michiel. I'm uh, I, I uploaded the PDF. Yeah. Let's see if that works better. We're going to share the PDF, okay. So, so in the meantime, there was one question uh, um, for you, Ron. So, so uh, I just discussed it with with Eric, and he says he likes the the slide where you show everything, 30 trends in one slide, which is not a which is not a small uh, uh, feat. But um, no. at the same time, it suggests uh, extensive training for somebody who's going to use this. In, in practice with the client. So, so, so what, what's your take on that? How much training does it require to be, to be uh, fluent in technovision? Well, uh, first of all, uh, there, there's a difference between two things, right? On, on one hand, technovision is simply a repository of trends and, and going to these trends, which I will show you in a few minutes, uh, each of them is, is described in a in very accessible way, I think, in a very uh, nice and, and accessible way. So, so going through the ebook that I will show you in a few minutes is is a nice training and and it's not too much uh, work. But but then engaging with the client in an innovation workshop and uh, articulating the right uh, business scenarios and value scenarios and mapping it uh, to to technovision storylines that that's a bit more of a um, that's a, a bit more of a uh, an architectural challenge. Uh, we have designed a masterclass that we will be rolling out, and I, I would be most happy also to uh, to involve, of course, uh, Society in this. Um, um, personally, I think we have designed this to to be very accessible. So, so as you will see, and I hope you will agree with me, 
although it's quite a lot, it's, it's very accessible. And, and you can do your cherry picking. You can choose your topics. And, and it's all, um, personally, I think, quite easy to swallow. Maybe that's easy to say for me, uh, because I've been involved in it for such a long time already. Uh, but the reactions we get from the field right now is that the way we've designed, particularly this 2014 version, uh, makes it all a bit more accessible than it used to be in the past. It's, it's not that, um, it might seem overwhelming, but we think with all the structure that we've been choosing and, and all the, let's say, uh, the way that we've put it, uh, it, it would be quite accessible, uh, particularly for people, of course, that already are knowledgeable in innovation, that sort of get what is happening in the, uh, in, in the business technology world of today and, and simply, uh, have an appetite for swallowing this stuff. But, but I agree, it's, it's, it's of course not, uh, the most simple thing uh, to do. So this seems to be working quite nicely. I'm now going to the next slide in the PDF. So so uh, maybe au revoir, uh, but we'll see what happens. Yay! This is cool. We should have sticked with PDF in the first place. You know, bloody PowerPoint. Uh, in, who uses PowerPoint in combination with Flash plugins? I mean, that that's thrill seeking, right? That that's that's not a bon risk entity. That that's a very lousy risk entity. But okay done it anyway. So, so here's the 37. Uh, these trends is, is described in more detail. Sorry, did you say something, Michiel? We're extremely interesting now in slide number eight because we have been waiting for it now for 10 minutes. So two crashes later. So yeah. <laughs> slide number seven. Oh. Okay. You, you see who's on the slide, by the way. You see who's on the slide. Now, this, this has been uh, creating, of course, all the problems. Um, so, so, I mean, coincidence doesn't exist, eh? this, this is not a coincidence. Uh, so, uh, so, so each of the trends is described in more detail uh, in the ebook, and uh, we started to uh, produce this on the CTO block, at Gemini CTO block as well. We already started to do this on a daily basis in November and December, 37 working days in which we introduced each of the trends separately through a blog post. And for example, this one is uh, object of desire, which is one of the five trends in the user experience. It's about how to create uh, mobile experiences that are compelling, attractive, that are gamified, uh, that, that, that are responsive. So, so uh, this particular post has been written by Andreas Schoestrom, who of course are uh, our great mobile leader from, uh, from Society. And uh, so, so there's a blog post about it. Um, each of these 37 trends has, has its own accompanying visuals. So, so in this case, you see the heart and the candy together with the mobile experience. So, so, so it's sort of a visualization of uh, how to create an object of desire. And, and then you'll, you'll see um, um, that, that all of these things have been published in an interactive ebook. The ebook is uh, for download, of course, available, and you probably all already have it. It's an interactive PDF, so you can uh, browse easily through it. It's very clickable, and uh, there's a navigation structure around it. Uh, we have a, a foreword by Lenny Cohen, who is the executive sponsor uh, for uh, Technovision. He's our group CTO, as you're all aware. So, so, so both Michiel from, from Global Society and myself from uh, Continental Europe, Capgemini, are part of his, uh, his community, his group. And he's the executive sponsor to Technovision 2014 as well. And um, uh, in the ebook, you'll also find a whole set of videos, which was originally an idea by Michiel, by the way. That said already a year ago to us, if you are going to publish this uh, in an ebook, better make sure it's interactive and, and has some uh, media in it as well. So within the ebook, you'll also find uh, videos in, in total 14 in which not only the trends are explained, but also um, how to work with them. So how to weave together all these trend building blocks into storylines. Storytelling is very important in Technovision 2014 how you weave together the different technology building blocks into storylines that are compelling and that address a certain question by the client. Because that's the way we do it in Technovision. There is a certain business challenge by the client. It can be a very specific question. And we then weave together the, the storylines by selecting the right building blocks that we think are most relevant to the question that the client has been asking. And sometimes these questions can be very um, generic in terms of What's the next level of innovation for our bank, for example? But they can also be very in terms of what does the future for an online retailer of books looks like? Eh? You know, well, they don't have a future probably, but you know, it's just a uh, illustration. So you can have very specific questions, 
And you would address them uh, through technovision by selecting the right building blocks and combining them. Or it would be much more generic in terms of, uh, you know, what's hot in technology nowadays. And, um, you know, uh, wh why don't you select a few building blocks for me that you think are particularly relevant to us. It's always a matter of selecting, by the way, because as you will appreciate, there is no client in the world that you can expose in one day workshop, for example, uh, 37 different building blocks to. Nobody will survive that. Uh, and, and even if not, if it's your business to absorb the stuff, I don't see how you could, you know, do that all in one. So, so what you really do in practice is you make always a selection. To our experience, usually five, six, seven building blocks from the 37 that you think are, are most relevant to the question of the client. You uh, create some um, um, real-life cases around them, so examples, maybe from their own sector, maybe from other sectors. You show it to them. Maybe you do some real-life demos around these building blocks to create the, the storylines, and, and that's, of course, the, uh, the foundation for the dialogue that will come afterwards. Uh, by the way, on this picture, you see uh, Pierre Hessler, uh, who is, of course, our, uh, our guiding spirit. And, and then the guy that has been uh, really been instrumental to uh, creating uh, also this new version of, of Technovision. And he's still our biggest ambassador, I would say, uh, as well. So, so, so in the ebook, you also will find additional guidance. So, for example, the Surgeon Scalpel, which is a post that describes how to weave together these storylines, how to select the right building blocks and create uh, journeys and storylines out of them. And, and by the way, this post also has been written by, by Pierre Hessler, as you can see. And, and then, and then uh, in the ebook, you'll find a lot of overview. So if you quickly want to, to find out what's hot in data or in the user experience or in social, you simply click yourself away uh, through the interactive PDF very, very uh, rapidly, getting down to the point where you, where you really want to be. Uh, there's a whole lot of detailed content there as well. The design principles, for example, are, are described in more detail in the, in the ebook uh, as well. And there is, an, as I said, an impressive team of contributors. There's more than 40 that have been uh, contributing to this particular version of Technovision. Uh, so it's fair to say that, that all of our leading insights within the group uh, around all of the major technology themes that we see nowadays are sort of, I hope, uh, captured in, in, this, uh, in this particular uh, product. There's also a toolkit available. And please let me know if you're interested in these. Um, uh, we are quickly, uh, we're now also in the, in the process of making them available through, uh, through our talent, of course, but uh, the talent website, but that's not necessarily available to everybody within Society, I believe. Um, so, so uh, Michiel, we, we can, of course, arrange that all of the separate visuals, also some of the infographics uh, and, and other stuff that is, uh, is, is, is of course, also uh, completely um, accessible to, to everybody in Society. As I said, this is a joint Gemini Society effort. So there is literally no piece in Technovision that, that will not be shared. Uh, it's all available. And uh, I, might, I don't see any difference between uh, uh, Capgemini and Society for that matter. Um, here's some names of people. Um, Michiel, yeah? Charlie will make an action point to make sure that all this content is replicated on Theme Park, which is accessible to everybody, and which is our platform. Exactly. Share. Exactly. So, sure yeah. Um, so, so we'll make sure it's done like that. Uh, as you can see on this page, Michiel's already mentioned as the, uh, as, as the Technovision 2014 lead for, for Sojeti. Uh, and also, if you happen to have friends elsewhere within the Capgemini group, uh, here's some other people that you might know or may not know. It depends a little bit on your region as well. And, and you might want to uh, reach out to them uh, as well to, to get some, uh, some more ideas. Uh, for example, uh, within Capgemini for, for Global Financial Services, FS, uh, the team has already been working for more than uh, half a year now on creating uh, financial services specific cases and references and examples that they use to further illustrate uh, the Technovision building blocks when they're discussing with their clients in banking, right? So, so that's, that's a little bit the way it, uh, it works. Um, there is more, of course, uh, on capgemini.com slash technovision. Uh, this is, of course, accessible to everybody because it's an external uh, site. And uh, actually, we chose to, to first publish most of the stuff externally before we even started to broadcast this to our people internally. Because we think, knowing Capgemini for quite some time now, we think it's sometimes the better way to do it uh, through the client's route.
So we simply reach out to the clients and uh, expose them to these materials. And then, of course, they start asking questions to their favorite Capgemini or Sojeti so so um, uh, um, uh, people, you know, and, and, and start asking them about it. And, and, and we believe that taking this uh, guerrilla tactic, following this guerrilla tactics might work out better. We already believe and already see the proof that it's working out better than first trying to educate your, your people internally uh, without this burning platform of the client already asking for it. So instead, we uh, deliberately chose for the outside in route simply making everything available, uh, well, at least the blog post and, and the ebook, making it available to the outside world before even educating our own people, uh, which, which I like. And, and by the way, it really worked for us. So, so it's uh, definitely something uh, um, to, uh, to consider for the next version uh, uh, as well. So sorry for can all the... Give, uh, can you give yeah? some examples of, uh, of how you use... Technovision in a client situation, just, uh, I don't know, one or two clients that you've done things with recently using Technovision? Well, yeah, l let me give you two uh, of the ones that I've been doing myself. Uh, recently, I was involved at the KLM Air France, and they wanted to understand from, from, uh, from the central IT department how they could create a platform uh, to, to accommodate their different business units. They have uh, different business units. After all, they are a joint uh, French, uh, uh, you know, Dutch company. They have different business units. They have a bit of a federative culture. They had a central IT department that needed to understand um, how to leverage technology and some of the trends that are going on to act as a, uh, as a platform supplier to their business clients. And so they've been selecting together with us uh, several uh, technology building blocks that particularly pertain to the platform team. And, and, and they've been, uh, you know, um, discussing and using it uh, as a way to get the discussion going on how to become a platform supplier to their own business people. And it worked very well. So, so I, I chose uh, several of them. Uh, as, as, if you go through Technovision, you will see several building blocks that really pertain to uh, this idea of creating a business platform. And uh, we, we chose these topics, gave some examples of, uh, of real-life technologies and cases of how to use it. And it was, uh, it was met very successfully um, uh, by the people at KLM Air France to work with that. So, so that's an example. Another one is Euroclear, uh, which you may know. They are in Brussels, and uh, they are a, a financial broker, essentially. So, so they do brokerage of, uh, of bonds and, and, and everything else in the stock exchange, and, and they're sort of a central broker. And, and they, needed to, they had very specific questions, two very specific questions. Their, their questions were, first of all, their business question was, how can we streamline uh, the process? of so many different uh, partners and, and uh, uh, stakeholders in our ecosystem. How could we use um, 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 technologies to streamline and manage that process? And the second question was, how can we use uh, the power of collaboration to manage that ecosystem of different players around us? Uh, in, in, uh, they are a central hub to, to many different financial institutes. How could they use uh, the power of collaboration uh, to to, uh, to uh, manage that ecosystem in a better way. So two very specific questions, and we, again, we've been selecting building blocks. You were not surprised to learn that most of these building blocks came from the, the process area or from the collaboration area. We have process on the fly in Technovision and what we call We Collaborate, and we chose uh, seven different trends, again, from, from that area. Um, again, with examples uh, of, of different uh, technology alliances that we have, to show them how to use business process management and business rules technology on one hand, and also how to use uh, social uh, collaboration platforms um, and, and, and had some, some real life examples of that again and, and showed it to them uh, during a, uh, a one day workshop in Brussels with both business and IT people. And, and again, it was, was very useful to, uh, to get the dialogue and we already had a, a, um, a proof of concept uh, immediately at the day itself, at the end of the day, was decided to do a proof of concept with business process management technology in this case, uh, and they wanted to have it going in uh, within a few weeks. And um, I um, I haven't checked yet. This was already a few weeks ago, but but I think we had some very interesting follow-on business for that as well. Uh, the key message from what I'm trying to tell you is that there's no one fixed format. Uh, what you should realize is it's not a one-day workshop. You could do that, uh, but but essentially we're saying any question that the client has. Uh, in which technology trends might be crucial, 
uh, to further, uh, you know, address that, that question, uh, you could be referring to Technovision because it's a repository and a framework. So, so you use the repository trends and the framework to categorize trends as a way to essentially engage with the clients in any different way that you would be seen. It could be responding to an RFP, could be creating a vision document, could be running a one-day innovation workshop, could be a client that wants to discuss big data or mobility, whatever, and, and you will find in, in Technovision a repository of, of very useful uh, that are group specific. So, so they're not only you know nice ideas, but but they are part of of the thought leadership of the group. So, so uh, whatever you would be doing, it, it might be uh, you know uh, better fitting in, in what the group is thinking as a whole anyway. So, so, so just just two examples, and and we've seen many different ways of, of applying it, of course, in addition to it. And is there um, um, support from uh, I don't know from the group if if somebody in uh, I don't know Detroit happens to uh, run into a client and thinks oh Technovision is very interesting but I'm very unfamiliar with Technovision do you well is yes. there any resource available Yeah so 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 there is already there's already uh, a, a a group of uh, of trained uh, resources so in the iBook itself you will find 40 of these people mentioned in addition to it, you see on this page, you see a lot of people that have been uh, designated as the, uh, the the group points of contact. So, so what I don't have yet, but but it would be up to Michiel and his team probably to work on that, is how it exactly would work within Society. But 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 within the Capgemini group as a whole, we have a uh, already a, a trained group of uh, of, of black belts, uh, people that went through the first batch, including Michiel, by the way, was was uh, instrumental in that one as well. Uh, we are uh, currently planning for a set of master classes in Lefon 10 uh, that I think would be very uh, suitable and useful for uh, for Societe as well. Um, and 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 then of course uh, there will be specific uh, communities like for example the architects community within Capgemini that will be doing their own uh, set of courses, uh, particularly geared towards architects, and it's led by Patrice Dubouille, who happens to be the the head of architecture within uh, within Capgemini. Um, so, so hopefully, also using this page and the 40 people that are mentioned uh, in the iBook, I hope you would find some some place um, for for people to support you. We are still in the process of rolling this out, of course, and and having the discussion with you guys today, with the Society Labs team, is is also, of course, part of this effort uh, to further roll it out. And, and some of you, I could imagine, would be uh, considered themselves uh, potential black belts, of course. Uh, to support um, um, social we agree on that that Sujeti Labs would be a very natural entity to embrace yeah. Technovision and to be at least familiar with it. Um, I, I know that with the previous version we've discussed, but there's quite a bit of hesitation to then um, actually step towards a client and and confidently speak about Technovision. So. I think the first time somebody does it, they need to have uh, somebody holding their hand or pushing them along or inspiring them to take that step. Um, and then we, we then that starts to accelerate. So in Sudeti Labs, we should have a handful of people who can do that. And then maybe the first time that, that handful of people does it, they could have some support from you or somebody else from who, who has already used this okay. in the client context. Definitely, and, and I really would like the, that idea of Sojeti Labs as, as a natural landing place, a natural community to uh, to work on this. And um, well, as I said, we are we are in the process of planning a few uh, masterclasses soon as well. So so I I believe that that you guys uh, should be part of that as well. Then, or, or of course we can uh, do something separately. I will be in the U.S. for example soon to uh, to educate uh, a group of our uh, North American uh, people in Atlanta. Uh, to work on that, and we could, of course, envision something similar, if you like, for Sojeti Labs as well. Um, or, or we can simply embed it, of course, in the uh, in the overall stuff that we are rolling out now for master classes, and and have a uh, you know a joint a joint class, uh, wh whatever you guys like. Uh, I'm very open to that. Uh, well, we need to think about numbers and locations, but uh, that's definitely uh, something to consider. Yeah. So, so, so here's the room. So two things. The first thing is we should share the locations of the master classes that you already are planning uh, because it might be that for some people 
uh, if it's for instance in Atlanta, that maybe somebody from Atlanta of SOCG can join. So that's first thing. Uh, the second thing is what we could consider is uh, using, we are planning a physical meeting of, of, of the Society Labs team uh, in late uh, June. And it could be that we use part of that meeting for a for a masterclass as well. So, so, so uh, definitely yeah. interest in yeah. organizing something like this. Definitely a need to train uh, uh, some people, I think, also, the uh, Society Labs, like you said, it is the natural community where this could land initially within within Society. So, so let's uh, let's plan and make sure that uh, in uh, that actually we will have a, a solid group of Society people that can that can support Technovision workshops with customers. So that's something that we uh, should work on in the next uh, couple of days. Uh, so. Very good, thank you. So, so don't hesitate to reach out to me, of course. Now, now Michiel, of course, is also very knowledgeable of the stuff, but uh, don't don't hesitate to reach out to me as well. Uh, I like working with Society, by the way, as Michiel knows. Uh, so, so uh, I, I really like that, and I'm open to it. And uh, I, I do believe with Society Labs, we have found, uh, you know, perfect place to to further assimilate it. What I certainly would recommend to you is simply dive into the ebook. You will find it's actually quite accessible. We have designed it to be very accessible and, and compelling. It's a bit of an object of desire, I hope. You will agree with me as well. Um, so, so, so it's, it's fun, I hope, to go through. And, and it's not designed to read from, from end, from start to end. So, so, so if you do feel, for example, what's hot in user experience, let's see what this Schoestrom guy has been telling about it. You know, you, you can, you can find it in two clicks as well. Or if you want to see the more philosophical stuff by, by Pierre Hessler, uh, one of the greatest minds I I've known, uh, not only within the group but in general, um, you can find that in two clicks as well. So, so, so uh, definitely, there's no substitute for simply diving in into it and uh, absorbing the materials. I'm also very interested in your inputs, by the way, uh, because we will be working on uh, on on uh, the 2015 ready, uh, starting uh, the end of uh, already after summer, right? So, so your input into it, uh, your ideas for for further um, you know, improvement of the stuff and some of the trends that, that we might be missing uh, in, in the 2014 edition and it would be crucial in the 2015 edition. I, I'm very interested in learning from you there as well and getting your input from it. So, by all means. Good. Excellent. Um, any other questions from uh, people attending? Laurent, Thomas, uh, Gros, any questions, ideas? Um, Anything uh, here uh, already in the comments, people show an interest in the master class. So I think we have that signed signed up either for us specifically or join the ones that are being organized. Um, and other than that, uh, thank you very much for uh, for doing this introduction. Um, uh, it's good to uh, see your face and, and be approachable uh, for uh, Sudeti Labs. Um, I think we will definitely take you up on your offer to uh, be, be engaged or included in, uh, in things related to Technovision and perhaps other things as well. Um, so uh, with that, um, um, I think that's the end of our call today. It will be available as a recording for download um, and we'll follow up one-on-one uh, -on, -one on uh, the, uh, the rest of the activity. So thank you very much. Thank you. And, well, thank uh, you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Michiel. Thank you, Eric. And, uh, We'll see the next workshop. The next webinar will be on May 14th. A new topic, new presenters. So I hope you will all be there. Thank you very much, and bye bye. Thank you, Paul. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye.